were always about publishing Westminster Puritans. We've published over 50 works so far, just in that one area. And this new work by a Puritan that you may not be so familiar with. His name was Francis Roos. He was a preacher during the time of the Westminster Assembly and was invited to be a lay assessor as one of the divines to proof the confession and proof the standards. You have to be a smart guy to be able to read through all of the Westminster standards and give your approval to them. He was one of those on that committee. And we've just begun publishing his work. Now, before I tell you what that work is, I want you to think about how you go to church and when you go to church, the people that you talk to that are happy. Like, the annoying happy people because you're not so happy and they're always happy no matter what it is that's they're going through oh i just found out that i have such and such a disease oh i've lost my job oh this has happened that's happened this person's died i'm going through this trial but you know the lord jesus he's just ministering to me he's just lifting me up i am so joyful in him even amidst all of these afflictions and you think to yourself i don't have that and you, you see these people, and it's almost like an annoyance to you that you don't have it. Not because they are annoying, but because you wish you had that. And because you don't have that, you're a grump. And you're grumpy. And you're discontent. Something's going on that's overpowering that which causes you or should cause you to rejoice. Well, Francis Roos put together a work called The Art of of happiness. It's how to be happy, how to find true happiness. And he says that the only place that you're going to be able to find true happiness is only in God through Christ. There's no other place to find happiness. Everything else will fall into place if your eyes, if, if your soul, heart, mind, strength is set on Christ above, seated at the right hand of God. If it's not set there, then all of those other people that you talk to, who are joyful, who have their minds set on the Lord Jesus that you run into when you go to church and you know who those people are, and you're saying to yourself, I wish I had that, something is overpowering you. Something else is crowding itself in, pushing Christ out, and you're focusing in on those things instead of the Lord Jesus. So Roos puts together this work in which he was praised for. This was the work that everybody said was absolutely phenomenal that he put together. And, and there's a number of works that he has that are very good, but this one is on the top of the list. He shows you how to find true happiness, how to obtain it once you find it, how to increase in happiness and he tells you a number of ways that you increase in your happiness through what he calls quick obedience when the Lord Jesus tells you to do something you do it in his word Jesus said why do you call me Lord Lord and do not do the things which I say one of those things is to rejoice in the Lord always to have our joy in him in the Holy Spirit he says that we are to be watchful that we are to pray with that disposition of joy we are to have godly meditation so that we might increase and cultivate that joy. We must have humility and a number of other attributes that the Christian is to possess if he is to have true joy. Are you truly happy? And then once you gain it, and then once you cultivate it, and then once you increase in it, how do you keep it so that you don't lose it? Roos goes over all of this in a most excellent work that's available right now at Puritan Publications. Go to www.puritanpublications.com for this book as an ebook or a print book. And for those of you who are unhappy, that you are vocally unhappy, Francis Roos will help you repent of that sin and come to understand the joy that you can have 
only found in the Lord Jesus Christ, in His power, through His Spirit, for His glory. May the Lord bless you as you read and study along with Francis Roos.